Hey, Peter. Nice Hi, to meet you. So I'm joined with uh, Peter Gumbel here. We're at the Euricole, a school in the heart of Paris. And Peter, you've written several books about the French uh, education system. Uh, they shoot uh, school kids, don't they, for instance? Elite Academy, French school uh, without tears. What would you say characterizes the French style of teaching? Well, on the one hand, French schools are very demanding. They have uh, very high standards. If you come out of a French school with uh, the baccalaureate, the classic uh, school leaving exam, you're very good at lots of things. You're good at philosophy, you're good at maths, you have a good general education. Uh, on the other hand, uh, you also have a very high failure rate. A lot of kids, almost one in four, um, really struggle at school. And when you look into why that is, you discover quite quickly that there are important differences between the culture of French schools and the culture in many other countries, particularly in the Anglophone world. Uh, and those differences are primarily the role of the pupil and the relationship with the teacher. Uh, for example, the classic things of encouraging, of motivating, of helping kids progress and saying, you know, you can get there, which you find in English and American schools, is really quite rare here. You have much more this idea that you have to fit into a mold in France, you play a much more passive role in the classroom as a child. You're there to seep in information from, uh, from the teacher. What consequences does this have on French students? There's a lot of stress in the system. There's some uh, tests by the, uh, the OECD, the PISA tests, which show that French kids are more stressed than anybody else in the world about French homework, especially in maths. Um, and overall, you can see that uh, kids come out of French schools less willing to participate, less sure about their abilities. Uh, and this plays a role. This, this takes a toll on, on people's egos and psyches. Now, equality is a driving force in French education, and yet there's massive inequalities within the system. What do you think this is due to? Well, this is one of the great paradoxes of the system in that the word égalité, equality, is actually written on the front of many, many schools around the country. Um, and yet, when you look at the statistics, the number of kids who fail, um, it's particularly kids who are from disadvantaged backgrounds who do badly. Um, and there is a sort of a perpetuation in the system, in the school system, of the class structure. So that if you come from a relatively well-off family, you're going to do relatively well in, in school. And if you don't, then you won't. In fact, if you look again at the, at the OECD statistics, international statistics, you'll see that the French school system is one of the most unequal in the world. Do you think it's possible to change the French education system? Well, what we've seen is that over the last 20 years, there's been a realization that the system isn't working. You know, education everywhere is incredibly difficult to change. Parents and teachers have high expectations. They have memories of their own education. So changing anything is always complicated. But what's important is that the French themselves understand the system doesn't work, the failure rate is too high, it's, it's embarrassing and, and more. It's, it's seriously damaging to a society to have an education system where a quarter of the kids are failing. And so people are saying, we need to change and finally we need to get on with it. Well, we'll have to leave it at that, Peter. Thank you so much for being on our show, French Connections Plus.